Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm in the office, taking care of business, paying bills as usual, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through Monday. Hope you guys have a good week ahead of you. Anybody out there who wants coaching or mentoring, please go to my website, skyazrael.com. I always throw the link below. You can also go find me on Instagram or Facebook. Just search my name. We'll become friends. Let's talk about disrespectful communication in the workplace. Now, I want to kind of specify this on the workplace, but I mean, this could be used for other areas of your life. Disrespectful communication with your friends or your family or your loved ones might be different. You have different parameters, different ways that you deal with them than how you are at work. There's kind of a universal language of business and there's a certain type of way that, uh, that you, you need to act certain type of way that you speak, certain type of way that you dress. There's certain codes and there are signs of disrespect. Now we're going to only talk about communication. Obviously if somebody is being just overtly rude, just obviously rude, that's disrespectful. <laughs> but then there's, there's subtle rudeness and some people are more sensitive to that than others. I think it's a good idea to be highly sensitive of subtle rudeness but forgiving and confident enough to not let it get you riled up or feel like an attack. However, but you do want to notice it because those are red flags and you want to be smart enough to notice red flags. Just because a red flag pops up doesn't mean you have to run the other way and go hide behind a bush terrified. You can still navigate forward around red flags and just keep it in mind. Yeah, I saw a couple red flags, flags back there. There might be something up here that I got to watch out for. So learn to notice the subtle rudeness and be strong enough and confident enough to let it slide if you have to, but there's a point when you're going to need to, I think, that you're going to need to nip it in the bud. That subtle rudeness builds up and, you know, it's just a sign that you're dealing with somebody who does not have respect for you. If someone's not listening, now there's just downright, they're not paying attention. You're talking to them and you're right here and they're over here. Or they're on their phone and you're talking to them and they're just on their phone. That happens all the time. Or they're on their laptop. I was on a video chat with someone just, uh, not yesterday, Saturday. And we're talking and I'm looking direct, directly at him. And the whole time, he's on his laptop just clicking away. And it's like, are you paying attention or not? But then there's subtle not listening where maybe they're looking at you, but they're just off in la-la land. And you can kind of tell in a conversation if you're talking and they're not really paying attention or they're not absorbing what you're saying. They're not getting it. They're not hearing it. I cut those conversations off because I'm not trying to just listen to myself talk. Another sign of disrespect can be also fairly nuanced where someone's pushing an agenda. Now that can be obvious, and if somebody's pushing an agenda, they're probably not going to be listening to you. And they're just some salesman that wants to give their pitch and then move on. And those are usually pretty bad salesmen. But you could be in a conversation with somebody and realize 5, 10, 20, 30, 45 minutes into it that, wait a minute, this whole time this guy's got an agenda. Someone could approach you and, you, and befriend you in the workplace and you think they're trying to be friends with you, but they're not. They're pushing an agenda. Maybe they're trying to get you on their side because they hate a coworker and they're trying to build a little, a, a little crew, a little army. And this happens all the time in the corporate world where people divide up into these little armies and they talk shit about each other. And it's like, whose side are you on? But I think that's a sign of disrespect when someone pushes an agenda on me because they don't really respect me for who I am. They just look at me as a number or a body or something that's going to benefit them. If somebody's constantly interrupting, now you can tolerate a little bit of interruption because kids do it and 
someone who's excited may do it. But if they're doing it all the time, then that's disrespectful. If somebody's not remembering basic info, maybe you've sent several emails back and forth with them, you've had several video chats, you've talked with them, you've been in their office for different meetings, and they can't even remember like your name or who you are or what department you're in or what project you're on or just basic stuff from the last conversation, and you've had to remind them three times every time they're like, oh yeah, sorry, that's disrespect. Oh, that guy may seem like he's really nice and he's just scatterbrained and he has a bad memory. And oh, yeah, Tom has a bad memory. No, Tom is being disrespectful to you. Tom doesn't like you. If somebody is continually challenging unimportant points, you know, if you're making a presentation or if you're talking to them, giving your side of a story, giving your uh, opinion on something, and all they want to do is challenge nonsensical, unimportant points. They cherry pick something out of what you said that's not really the point of the conversation. And they want to argue about that over here. It's like, dude, you, you might have to continually redirect them back to what the point of the conversation is. And that can be frustrating. And if you have to do that too many times, you, you may realize, okay, this is actually intentional. This guy's being disrespectful. If somebody is being overly argumentative. There's nothing wrong with being challenged. You have to learn to be challenged. Be humble enough to be challenged. You're not the king of everything. You don't know everything. And be able to say, I'm wrong when you're wrong. And give people their props. Say, no, I'm wrong. You're right. But some people just want to argue about everything. Oh, jeez. You might have dated a chick like that. Your teenage son might be like that. I've had friends that way. You can't say anything and, uh, without them wanting to fight you over it. And some people are like this in the business world, or the people that are like that in your office or in your business community, whatever it is, those are people who don't respect you. The overly argumentative types are people that don't respect you. They think you're stupid. And the last one I have on my list, we could probably keep going with this, but the last one I have is, I think also pretty obvious, I, pretty sh sh I probably should have put it at the beginning, if they're not responding when they're being spoken to. Now that's particularly frustrating, and you parents know this, when you talk to your kid and they don't even respond to you. And you have to be like, did you hear me? And what do you want, you know, you grab them and shake them? Look, you little punk, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. Now you can't do that at work. But you can walk away. If somebody's not responding to you when you're speaking to them, pff, you're done with them. Fuck that motherfucker, you're done with them. Now, this may be in emails, it may be in text messages, and this may be somebody that you are kind of forced to deal with who's continually ignoring you. You have to confront that directly. And you can do this nicely. You know, I always choose the nice way first. Have a very pleasant, nice conversation and make someone my friend. And then if that doesn't work, then it's time to become a little bit more stern, a little bit more you know, d a little bit more tough with it. But even when you're tough with somebody in a business setting, you, you can be very forceful and very dominant without being rude, without yelling, without showing all kinds of crazy emotion that's going to disturb customers or coworkers. But we can talk about that in a different video. Have a great week.